exactly like what I've asked you to do, which is start by writing your helpers at the top, just like we do with magic numbers for reducing. So if I go from a big unit to a small unit, I'm going to multiply. If I go from a small unit to a big unit, I'm going to divide. Second thing you should write, the formulas that you are asked to know. Remember, you can always use the formulas for miles. It's gonna give you those. So we'll do, this one has a mile. We'll do a, ooh, we'll do that one because it's a two-step one. And we'll do this one because it's gonna have a remainder. And then we'll do a couple of these conversion ones. It's a two-step or two. All right, so I'm gonna do problems four, eight, 11, 14, 17. You're gonna do the rest on your own. Um, and then you can, again, if you send me um, your work, or, or maybe actually I'll do these, and then I'll pause, and I'm gonna do, give you some time to work. And we'll do questions three, We'll do question 10, and we'll do question 16. So I'll let you work on those independently, and then we'll check those as well. Okay, so we're going to start with number four, and then we'll move on. So we need our formulas. 12, um, oops, 12 inches equals one foot. Remember, they aren't going to give you these. Three feet equals one yard. So you're gonna go ahead and write those at the top. You can use your um, formula on the first one right here for miles, feet, and yards. All right, so we're at number four. I'm going yards to inches, big to small, or small to big. Well, yards is the biggest, and inches is the smallest. So if I'm going big to small, I'm going to multiply. Because I know it's going to take more inches to make up my yards. So now I'm going to find yards and inches. And I don't have yards to inches because I didn't memorize that one. I just memorized yards to feet. So we're going to start with feet and then we're going to go feet to inches. So sometimes it's a multi-step process. If you already know how many inches are in three yards or three feet, that's great. But if not, you can go ahead and convert it. So we're going to do three groups of 19. Three times one is three, plus two is five. So I have 57 feet. But now I need to go feet to inches. And you're welcome to use calculators for these. I want you to focus on the procedures. And so um, if you want to use a calculator to help with the math, that is perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to go 57 because we know I need 57 groups of 12. All right, two times seven is 14, carry the one. Two times five is 10, plus one is 11. Write my zero. One times seven is seven. One times five is five. Now we're going to add. 4 and 0 is 4, 7 and 1 is 8, and 5 and 1 is 6. 648 inches. So this was a two-stepper. All right. We're going to go feet to miles. Feet are going to be smaller, and miles are going to be bigger. So if I'm going from a small to a big, I divide. All right, so now I'm going to look because I don't know feet to miles. And I'm going to see that it says for every one mile, there are 5,280 feet. So I'm going to do 26400 divided by 5,280. Now we could use our partial quotients, but 
Oh, I'm going to go grab my phone real quick. All right, so I'm going to plug my numbers in, 26400 divided by 5280. I know you can't see this very well, but I'm just literally plugging it in, equals 5. And like I said, feel free to use a calculator. All right, inches to feet. Small to big, which means I'm going to divide because I need fewer of these bigger ones. As always, I hope you're starting to see a real method to how I solve these. If you can internalize these steps and do the same steps every time, it'll go really fast. All right, so if I'm going to divide and I'm going inches to feet, I'm going to find my formula that has inches to feet and it says 12. So 51 divided by 12, 12, 24, 36, 48. So I know that's where I'm going to stop because the next one's going to go over. And I'm going to have three left over. So I had four feet plus a remainder of three, which is three out of 12 inches. All right, we're going to move down to number 14 and 17. Just checking real quick. All right, here we go. So we're going miles to yards. Now it's the same method when you are converting with a um, converting for a comparison. So remember, we're compare. When we make a comparison, it's either less than, greater than, or equal to. Um, we just need to convert one. We don't have to convert another one and you both of them and you can convert whichever one you want so miles to yards miles is going to be big and yards is going to be small now this is my own preference I like going from big to small because I'm better at multiplication than division if that makes sense. So I always convert the one that would be going from a big unit to a small unit. So I'm going to convert, convert two miles to some number of yards because I like multiplication and I'm really not as good as talented at the other one. Now remember you don't have to know miles so you're going to find it Here's your formula. You find the one that has the matching words, and the matching words are mile and yards, and it's 1760. So I need two groups of 1760 because I have two miles. Two times zero is two. Oops, zero, sorry. Two times seven is 14. Carry the one. Two times six is 12. Plus one is 13. Carry the one. Two times one is two. Plus one is three. 3,000. 340. All right, so I only converted one. I went miles. So this is equal to 3,340 yards. You don't have to write this out. I'm just doing it to kind of show you what we did. We don't have to convert both. You only have to convert one. And it's 3,340 bigger or smaller than this number. It is smaller. So it is less than. All right, we're going to do one more and then I'm going to leave you to do your three practice problems and then you're going to check them with me before you move on. So we have yards, which is big, two inches, which is small. And again, it's yards to inches, but I don't have that formula because I only memorized feet to yards and inches to feet. 
which means I'm going to have to go from yards to feet and feet to inches. All right, big to small means I'm multiplying. I'm much better at multiplying than I am at dividing. So I'm going to change 5.5 yards to some number of feet. Yards to feet, I'm going to find my formula. Yards to feet are times 3, because I know I'm big to small, so I'm multiplying, and I know my formula is 3 for 1. So I'm going to do my 3. Remember, if you want to use your calculator, this is the time to do it. 3 times 5 is 15, carry 1. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. I have one decimal place in my factors, and we know that the decimal is always hiding behind the number, and we're going to froggy jump over one decimal place because I have one decimal place in my factor. So I need one decimal place in my product. I'm going to see how all these skills that you've learned throughout the whole year are coming back. Yep, this was quarter number one, decimals in place value, and then quarter number two, multiplication with decimals. All right, so we got 16.5, but I'm only in feet, and I need inches. So now I'm going to go 16.5 feet equals how many inches? I'm still going big to small which means I'm still multiplying. But now I'm going feet to inches. So my formula is going to be times 12. I'm going to get my calculator out on this one. Oh, here we go. 16.5 times 12 equals 198. So my yards equals 198 inches. Well now I can compare. Which is bigger, 198 or 192? Oh, comparison of whole numbers, that was quarter one. All right, 198 is bigger, it is greater than. Okay. So at this point, you're going to stop if you haven't already done it, and you're going to do number three. And they're going to be slowly getting harder. Number ten, which is going to have a remainder. So the first one's just a solid conversion. The next one's going to have a remainder, and then finally number sixteen, which is a comparison. And I'll give you a little hint: you're going from inches to yards. So if you don't know how many inches are in a yard, you're going to need to do two steps because we don't have the formula memorized in our heads. You can always use the formula from the other page, but I do want to remind you that they're not going to give you this formula. You're going to have to know this on your own. And so if you, if you want to just memorize it, great, but if not, you're going to work on these. All right, we're going to stop here. Oh, let's look on the back and pick out a really good one on the back, too. So this is page 810. Let's do number 21 as well. I'm going to stop this here and make this a new video so that you can practice. Um, and then if you've already done it, you can go straight to the next video, and then you can um, check those four questions. So it's question 21. Question number 16, question number 10, and question number 3. All right.